what are some of the hidden villains in our everyday lives you know we would be using them from morning to night we would be using them every day thinking they are safe believing they are harmless but actually they are not you are asking a million dollar question to answer this first let me look at how much of lead is used in this country annually for various purposes though 80% goes into lead acid battery these batteries have a life they get recycled how much of lead which is number one environmental toxin or a, i don't know to call it as a poison environmental toxin there's a difference between toxic and poison poison kills immediately toxin will not kill you i was searching i was surprised and shocked to find it is anywhere between 1.3 million metric tons of lead 1.3 million metric tons of lead is required in our country we don't have lead mines we recycle lead if we had lead mines it would have been a different story we recycle available lead to the last milligram we recycle very little lead is extracted from nature now where is it used from morning till evening sir i had a few questions morning to evening we'll go into the details sure we'll go into the details now okay you told me first is toothbrush <clears throat> toothpaste toothpaste even toothbrush Brush right off, right Brushes the plastic off. materials then that may not harm that much but paste right from our first activity of brushing the teeth lead we are getting exposed to lead longer we brush the teeth its effect is more because most of the toothpaste all over the world contains lead all over the world i don't know there might be few toothpaste which may not have lead and this is used directly on calcium that is teeth the teeth is coated with dentine is coated with calcium lead removes calcium more and more we brush more and more we use the decay tooth decay is a common thing enamel yes 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 ah but i have heard sir that uh, the highest amount of microplastic exposures is because of the toothbrush so toothbrush is also bad in a sense right but there there might not be lead issues in the toothbrush they may, they contain lead because of coloring agent used to give you colorful toothbrush contains lead that may not leach out okay unlike in toothpaste okay in toothpaste yeah lead is there yeah it may be negligible amount okay even one lead in the toothpaste can remove 1000 calcium oh my god that is the danger oh that's why we are concerned about that So, so why do they put lead in the toothpaste? See, it is not that they put lead. The whitening agent, toothpaste is white, except some streaks of uh, color. Toothpaste invariably is white. Where does it come from? It comes from some of the calcium salts. Are that calcium salts come along with lead? Even for osteoporotic patients, when they were giving calcium, Sandoz calcium, yeah, that contained lead because they take seashells. to powder it and use it and sea shells wherever they were using um, fisherman net with leaded balls to sink it that was contributing to the water and that water was giving to rise to the sea shells containing lead that means lead we are using knowingly or unknowingly whether it's hair dye it's eyeliner whether the tube the lead balls in the fisherman net or whether it's in the toothpaste whether it's in the plate where you know plates are made of melamine or coated plates coated um, um, tawa and uh, pressure cooker so many utensils very colorful very good looking uh, you know uh, mithai what we buy in the shop There's a silver foil. Yeah, 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 yeah,
And one of the major source of lead through food is our supposed to protect our health, turmeric powder. Yeah. Medicine, you know. Our kitchen is like a pharmacy. Correct. In Ayurveda, they say that. Ayurveda is a great, great medicine, I tell you. It is a herbal medicinal practices for the last 5,000 years. Ayurveda is the safest among all medicines. Turmeric powder is used in sambar powder, rasam powder, chicken masala, that masala, this masala. This turmeric powder, to make that powder, the turmeric root should be hard. It's soft actually. When you pluck turmeric from the ground, it's under. it grows under the ground. It's soft. You can't powder it. It becomes paste. Correct, correct, correct. What they do, they put it in huge vessels, uh -huh. coated with the tin, uh -huh. and boil, boil, boil in boiling water. Till all the water comes out of the turmeric and then they sun dry it, it becomes powder, they, they uh, mill it, milling, milling, then they get turmeric powder. What happened, this uh, container in which they were boiling, the tin is very expensive, they were adulterated with lead. Lead got into turmeric. Oh. Turmeric powder got lead. That's why in us, in uh, Orissa, some of the tribals in the Orissa, I go and buy turmeric from them. They collect turmeric from the forest and they... Repair, okay. fantastic. Zero lead. Bangladesh is the only country which I know has banned lead chromate getting into turmeric powder. Lead chromate has color, weight and protects and increases the shelf life of turmeric powder. Okay. There is another source. There are food grade dyes. There are toxic dyes. This, uh, this is a toxic substance, you know, the lead chromate. This is going into intestine, gets absorbed. The third route is from the cosmetics, hair dye to other cosmetics, directly absorbed by the skin, goes to again kidney. I'll see, give you an old man quietly sitting in his room or goes to barber sh uh, shop and gets his hair dyed. I asked that man, are you dying or dying? Hair dye, every hair dye contains lead. If you don't use lead in the hair dye, the hair will be like uh, the corn sheaves, that color. What is the color of corn sheaves? It is a uh, um, uh, reddish brown color. The moment you add it, jet black. Change the proportion, different shade, different colors. If you go to any hospital, dialysis patients who have lost their kidney function, they have uh, painted their hair several times because of makeup. You, yeah, you told me 9 out of 10 dialysis Sometimes patients. Sometimes there are around 8, 9 out of 10 in some places I have found, dyed their hair. Dialysis patients dyed their head. They have died and then the kidney got damaged and came become dialysis patients. Uh -huh. It's not the dialysis patients dying their head. They have died even much before. Correct, correct. If you enjoyed watching this content, you can watch the full in-depth video on the Body to Being podcast hosted on Shloka YouTube channel. To continue watching shorter pieces of this content, you can subscribe to Shloka Clips on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video and follow us on Spotify. Pranam.